Metro is addressing this video that appears to show NFL player Michael Bennett in handcuffs. Bennett claims he was threatened by officers and is vowing to take action, but tonight Metro is offering its side of the story. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marin is live at Metro headquarters with more on uh, some uh, video that was shown today. Leslie. Steve, Metro side of the story did include body cam video from a sergeant who was on scene the night Bennett was detained. Now, it only gave us a few seconds, uh, a glimpse into a few seconds, I should say, of that night and what police are saying was not racially based policing. I see no evidence that race played any role in this incident. While officers were searching the casino, they were able to safely evacuate many patrons of all races. OK, so why did officers detain Bennett? This is the body cam video from the Cromwell on August 27th when police say they received reports of a shooter at the casino. Police say they found Bennett crouching near a slot machine when he ran from them into the street. That's when police say their video shows Bennett on the ground and police do have their guns drawn. Now, Bennett was eventually found not to be a suspect here, but police also addressed Bennett's claims that the detaining officer may have pointed his gun at Bennett's head and said he would blow the football player's head off. Police say they have over 120 videos that they have to go through, including one released by TMZ this morning. The detaining officer did not have his body camera on at the time of this incident. Bennett did speak to media today from practice where he addressed his thoughts on police officers. Do I think every police officer is bad? No, I don't believe that. Do I believe there's some people out there that judge people on the color of their skin? I do believe that. Well, we also heard from Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll today, who says the team is backing Bennett during this investigation. Uh, Las Vegas police telling us they have not heard from Bennett or his lawyer yet, but they have started an open investigation on what happened here on their own. Reporting live, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News. New at 6 tonight.